So one of the, the unique aspects of a hybrid school is they do their um, two days at home. We call it Satellite Learning Day, as you all know by now. And uh, I'm sure there's some great things that you could share uh, about Satellite Learning Days and maybe some things that are not so great. But just let's just share some of the things that you've um, maybe experienced that, that have worked well. So just elaborate on Satellite Learning Days for us. Yeah, um, and this kind of goes with the last question too. Another thing that I love about the hybrid program is that we know what they're being taught and we know where they're struggling and where they're striving. And um, one thing that I have learned that is helpful, I'm not consistent, but when I am, it's definitely helpful to a smooth day is a nightly table prep. And so what that looks like is when the kids go to bed, I look over the information the teachers have sent us about what's due for the next day, um, what the expectations are. And so I just have a like a little document that I have for each child and I type out what their to-do list is, I set it out on the table, I set all their work out, make sure the pencils are sharpened, all of it, so that when they come down in the morning, we're already set up for success and there's not a lot of distractions and if they feel like starting at seven in the morning, then they can. That's what we tell them. If you come down before a certain time, you have to go to the school table. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Or they can just start picking it up right after breakfast. And so I think um, like flexible structure, so I create the structure, but I also have to be flexible with the day, is key to making sure that we get things done and there's not as much conflict and strife between <laughs> siblings and parent sibling. <laughs> not at your house. No, no. <laughs> well, and Sarah, Sarah does a great job. I get the opportunity to work from home on Fridays and every once in a while I'll be able to pop out of the office and dive right in. And it's all because of the preparation and the organization that she takes the time to do. And so it's great because we both have different teaching styles and um, it's good for our kids to experience her style and my style. And um, it's, it's such a blessing just to be able to get to interact, see what they're learning, engage with them and watch the light bulb come on. They so. prefer his style more than me. <laughs> He's a lot more fun than I am. Well, we need to talk later about that. I'm, I'm curious about that. So you get to be a teacher at home, but you're not carrying that full burden. And you, no, you have, no. you have uh, our staff that's uh, instructing them three days a week, and they design lessons for, for you to oversee to make sure that they're, you know, they're doing them properly. So just anyone else, elaborate on how that works. I'm, I'm very curious about that. You know, in practice is one thing. Uh, but this delivering and, and making it work over a period of time. How's that working? Uh, elaborate on that. I've seen so many moms in the grades that we're a part of approach this differently. And so I know that for a lot of moms, getting an early start in the day has been really successful for their family. Or for other moms, they might um, spend time more time with one child earlier in the day and then spend more time with the other siblings at different parts in the day so that they're getting some more one-on-one. -on -one. Um, for us, I've really enjoyed the opportunity to be able to switch it up a little bit for our kindergartner. So if he wants to do school out, outside for the day, we'll try to spend time outside um, or giving him a chance to sit on the couch or move around and, and take breaks so that he's being active and we're able to keep him engaged. The, the kindergartner, by the way, is a boy, so. <laughs> <laughs> In case it wasn't obvious. Yeah. <laughs> and um, just to expound on one of the things Sarah said, we love that we're able to see um, exactly what they're learning about in school and expound on that at home. So one of the things that I try to prioritize on our, our home days together as a family is just looking for teachable moments in the curriculum, which PCA does such an amazing job of at school. We see you incorporate faith principles into geography and math and science. And I look for opportunities to continue that at home. So um, recently when Karis came home with vocabulary words that were focused on um, equality and freedom and protest, we took time to not just talk about the definitions, but talk about what that means to our family and where does equality come from? God loves all of us equally and we're all different and God um, sees all of us as his children. And what are some things that our family would protest for and what would a peaceful protest look like? And so I love that we get to have those opportunities on home days that, um, that um, we know that PCA does a great job of at school, but just being a part of that part of their growth is something that we really value as a family. Well, I'm very uh, pleased to hear you've taken advantage of the space that you've been given back. And that space you've been given back is, uh, it's like on a silver platter. It's like they're in the, they're in the teaching mode. 
they just didn't come home from school and they're tired and they want to just play. This there's a there's an opportunity there for you to pour in your own uh, values that align with our school values. So we come from a homeschool background, and this is Seth's first year in a school school. So this was the perfect transition for a family that went from homeschooling full time to easing a child into school. I think this was the great great program for Seth to have that transition. I think a five day program would have been too much on him just in terms of everything, just emotional overload and everything. He, um, it's a great transition for him. And having the two days at home, uh, he tries to catch up with his homework the night before, the day of, like the our satellite days are Wednesday and Friday. So he'll try to finish as much as he can on Tuesday night and Thursday night. And then if he has any homework left for the rest of the week, he'll try to catch up on that too. So it's fun to see that, you know, he has space for that. He's kind of created a, a situation where we can learn about uh, project management, time management. Yes, yes, so for sure. So what are some things besides the academic part that maybe this has allowed you, you, your family and your child to learn? I just mentioned a couple, just time management. Anything else that they've learned through this opportunity that you can think of? You know, so Seth is involved now in choir, honor choir, as well as in uh, theater. theater, right? Uh, again, as Julie said, coming out of a homeschooling environment, those were things that we'd have to go seek out, right? And most likely friends were not necessarily a part of that because he was most likely individualized into those environments. So the fact that he's able to do that with friends... The fact that he's now actually getting a chance to apply himself into other areas outside of just school is huge. And uh, that being something that actually carries through the Wednesdays and the Fridays, right? So, for example, theater goes all five days of the week. He actually gets to now look forward to doing something on a day that is off. After he's finished studying, he wants to step into theater and kind of go do his theater thing. So it's, it's, a, it's a unique experience, uh, again, because of the fact that he kind of comes out of uh, a homeschooling background. Mm -hmm. Just to brag on Seth a little bit, um, he tried out for the big spring musical for like the whole school, and he, had a re he got a really good part. So uh, he's our first hybrid student uh, to be able to uh, be a part of our big sc uh, school musical. So there again, that's a benefit of being part of a small school, school but part of a big school system that was mentioned earlier. They can take advantage of some of those things that if you were in a small school, you didn't have those. Yeah.